Hey guys, welcome back for another night. Uh, we're actually gonna take a break from the truck here like I mentioned in the last video. Um, I've got so much work to do the BMW right now here behind me. Uh, I've got new headlights, I've got new brakes uh, front and rear, and I also have lowering springs for the car now too. So we have quite a few videos to do here for the car coming up and we're gonna start here tonight with headlights. One other disclaimer here guys, um, I'm not sure why but my camera's acting up so I'm having troubles with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this off my phone. So if it's a little bit less quality, that's why. Hopefully it'll still be very, very usable. All right, to start out with guys, this is my 2011 328 XI. So it's an X-Drive all-wheel drive car. I absolutely love the car to death, but there's one thing that's always drove me nuts on it. And that is the fact that it has from the factory, it has halogen lights. They do have projectors um, on some of the other models. This is a heated leather, heated steering wheel, etc. car. Um, but that is one thing that this car did skimp out on. It does have halogen lights. Um, I went ahead and updated the LED rings for the halos. Um, and so those are nice LEDs. And so just the halogen light just really kind of didn't sit very well with me with that LED ring in there. Um, so it was something that I knew I wanted to upgrade. So while I was searching around online for a good LED replacement for my halogens, I actually had a company, Basla Lighting, uh, reach out to me with their product and asked me if I would do a review. And I said, absolutely, if you're okay with me doing it on the car versus the truck. They said, yeah, that'd be great. So this is what they have, guys. As you can see, it is a four color LED headlight. So it replaces your halogen bulb for all different makes and models, of course. And the four different colors is a 6500K white, a 4300K warm, to a 3000K yellow, and they also use that 3000K yellow as an SOS or basically just a really bright hazard. So it's a pretty neat design, and if you've got one, you might as well have all four, right, if you can get all of them. So here's everything that comes inside the box. Um, obviously just has packaging here. Obviously I obviously already have one set already in, so it comes with a new LED, um, as well as the LED driver. And then for this car, as a newer car, it needed a, a CAN bus um, adapter there as well. Um, so this is basically what you get in the kit, times two, of course. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get these installed in the and car. To get to the headlights in this car, there's multiple ways. You can actually reach it from within the hood, but it's actually a lot easier if you go ahead and take off the wheel and the inner fender. Um, where we're trying to go to, try to get some light down here, is right down in here. And so you could actually get your hands in there um, and kind of fight it. But I find it's a lot easier just to take the time, pop the wheel off, pop the inner fender out. Um, you got really easy access to all of that. Now with the wheel removed, there's a bunch of little eight millimeter screws up inside here that hold this inner fender in as well as one 10 millimeter plastic nut right there. Um, go ahead and pop all those out and the whole inner fender should be able to slip out pretty easily and it'll expose the back of the headlight. So with that inner fender removed you can see how much easier it is to get to this headlight. Now we're working with the low beams which is the center here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this little locking clip off and take this cover off. Now with the back of the bulb exposed, we can go ahead and just pull this black connector. And we'll go ahead and just pull it directly back. It does not have any kind of lock in, it just slips over the spade connector there. So you can go ahead and just pull it straight out and kind of let it dangle off to the side. Now that the connector is out of the way, you can see that there's a hold down, this wire clip right here. All we need to do is pull it over to the side and pull down. You can actually just remove the bulb. Right so now there. we can start the install. So the first thing we do is remove the little glass protective shield there. We're actually going to take the little adapter plate here off of the headlight itself. We'll install that first by itself. So now we'll go ahead and put that adapter plate in. Well, it goes in one way. Make sure it's firmly seated in there. And we'll lift that wire clip back into place. We'll lock that back in its spot. So you can see I actually had to bend this a little bit and I did that because they're actually going to be a clearance issue with the fan. So basically just bent that clip so it's up out of the way a little bit, um, but it should still work. You can see it's seated up at the top there and it's firmly holding this in place. Now we can install the bulb itself, making sure that it is aligned vertically here so that the LEDs are sticking out to the sides. Make sure that it's firmly in place. Sitting up and now down. Before we put the wiring in the car, we went and hooked up the, the CAN bus um, adapter here to the LED driver itself um, using the, the bare spades that, that it comes with. Um, now this little four prong side this will hook up to the LED bulb itself and then this other side here will hook up to the OEM um, plug in the car. So I get a little hard to see with the light and use this four prong to this four prong here. It actually comes with a little screw here. Let's go ahead and cover that up. Once that's connected, take your other end here and take your OEM connection and plug that together as well. Now everything is technically 
hooked up in the car itself. Now, before we tuck everything away, we're gonna go ahead and check these to make sure they run. Um, and once that's done, we'll tuck everything in and close it up. All right, guys, so I've started the car. I actually realized that my plug was flipped upside down. There are LEDs, so the current only goes one way. Um, so if your light does not turn on, simply unplug that and plug it back in the opposite way, and it should turn on no problem. Um, so now that that's done, I'm going to take all of this wiring, and I'm actually going to stick it down inside this housing, and I should actually be able to shut up that housing uh, completely and make sure it's sealed up. Um, as it comes from the factory. That is one nice thing about these lights themselves is they actually, the fan does not stick out so far that you have to cut the housing like some other ones do. Um, so you know, go ahead and shut everything up there the way it was when you started. So as you can see, I was able to get all of that wiring down inside the headlight housing itself. So we can go ahead and put this cover back on. Snap the wire clip back into place and your headlight is sealed back up. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the fender back in, put the wheel back on, and the car should be ready to rock. All right, so the wheels are back on and the car is back on the ground, so the install is technically complete. Uh, like I said, these are four-way LEDs, so there's four different colors in them. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it out. It's dark outside. Uh, we're gonna go out and we're just gonna play with it a little bit and just show you exactly what they can do. I've been playing with it here in the garage a little bit and it's actually really, really cool. I'm excited to have them in the car. We'll show you what we can do. All right, guys, so it's actually the next night after work. We're gonna show you what these can do. So this is your 6,000K setting. It's just a nice, bright white. You turn your lights off and turn it back on. You go to a 4300K, a little bit more of a soft yellow. Turn them off, turn them back on. You're down to a 3000K, a very deep yellow. You turn them off and turn them back on. And it basically turns into a flasher at that lowest level. Turn them off, turn it back on, and you're back to that bright white, which is what I'll probably use for most of my driving. I like that 6000K bright white more than anything else. I think it looks better and it gives you the best light, but it's not really the best when it comes to rain and snow and that kind of stuff. And so when that happens, you can simply turn them off and turn them back on. And now you've got more of a yellow light that generally sends to uh, shed light a little bit better when in the rain and that kind of stuff a little bit better. So um, do I really need to have all four? Not really, I could probably get away with more of, of just the, the 6000K and the 4300K, um, but it is really nice to have those extra options. I know a lot of guys, especially on their um, European and uh, Japanese cars like to go with a more of a yellow light, it's just kind of personal preference there, but you have that option here all in one package, which is really, really cool. So guys, I'm really, really excited to have these. Obviously I cannot talk about the longevity of them yet because I just put them in, but I'm really excited to have them um, and we'll see how they do long-term. So just as a wrap up here to this video, guys, kind of a one day review. Um, so far, I really, really do like these. Uh, the light output of these is much, much greater than in my halogens. I actually had to turn down the lights a little bit because they are so much brighter and to make sure I wasn't brighting, you know, uh, people coming at me from the opposite lane and that kind of stuff. But um, as far as light output and they run cool, I was, you know, check out, I was a little bit worried about them, you know, being completely closed up in the housings. They're still very, very cool. Um, not any kind of danger of, of overheating in there or anything like that. So guys, if you're interested in these, I will go ahead and post a link down in the bio. Um, please do uh, give them a look. I myself was a little bit of a skeptic, but having them in the car, I actually do like them a lot. I think they're a really cool design. Um, so do go ahead and give them a look if you're interested in them. But other than that, guys, uh, please do remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Other than that, have a great night.